Josh Richards reveals the tea behind the Sway Life reality show and why he chose to leave the show. Also, did Michael Gruen really break up Sway? I'm Kelsey McDonald and you're watching The Daily Report. We're getting to the bottom of a lot of tea today. Get ready. Grab the cups, the tea's boiling, and I'm ready to pour. How many tea puns can I make every single Daily Report? <laughs> I'm on my like 900th. So remember all of the drama we talked about earlier this week surrounding Bryce Hall, the Sway House, and their manager, Michael Gruen? Yeah, mm -hmm, that was rough. If you didn't catch one of the latest episodes of Sway Life where Bryce confronts Michael about ending the Sway House, you should totally watch because it's so intense. In the episode, not only did Bryce and Michael get into it, but Bryce also found out that Michael pulled his fellow Sway House members and friends, Josh Richards and Griffin Johnson from the show. How are you gonna have a show about the Sway Boys without Josh and Griffin? It just doesn't feel right, you know? It just doesn't sit well. In the episode, Michael talked about pulling the guys from the show, saying, quote, it got really stressful. We didn't see a significant utility out of the show itself other than cash. Every decision we make, including leaving the show, is a group conversation because ultimately, everything we do personally affects our professional life. In the heat of the discussion, Bryce asked Michael, quote, why do you on everything and try to ruin everything? When I said it was intense, I wasn't lying. <laughs> the two continued to argue and Josh finally chimed in and told Bryce, quote, personally, I didn't want to do the show. He said that the show was messing with a lot of his deals in his personal life. Josh said, quote, when brands don't align, they just don't align. And we have a future in our lives to look after as well, just like they do. Griffin also spoke about leaving the house, saying that him and Josh were going to tell their housemates in person, but it was a very quick decision. He said, quote, I just think in life in general, not many people will ever have your back, and I think Sway has done a great job of showing all of us who actually is our true friends and who are the people that just chop you when it's convenient. And then at the end of the episode, Bryce asked Michael, quote, so who split up Sway? And Michael admittedly said he was the one who did, 100%. And when you think we got to the bottom of that, you thought round two. There's so much drama. Josh went on to his BFFs podcast yesterday and talked about the truth behind the Sway House breakup. Let me just say, he spilled the tea. First, he made it clear that he and Griffin made the decision to leave Sway Life on their own. Josh said, quote, first things first, I love how people say he pulled us like we wouldn't have a choice. We chose not to do the show. Josh continued saying, quote, I think we were a part of it for like five weeks, maybe like four weeks. And then we were like, bro, this is just wrecking so many deals. This is just getting people texting us being like, you guys look like idiots. It was just not good. It was the worst idea ever. Ooh, those words sting. Josh then went on to say that the rest of the guys want to continue doing the show, but for him and Griffin, it's not worth it. Then the other host of the podcast, Dave Portnoy, played multiple clips from the Sway Life episode of Bryce and Michael fighting, and Josh told him, quote, bro, that is so fake and cut together in certain ways, that whole entire scene wasn't even shot close to like that. <gasps> when I say Josh spilled the tea, was I wrong? Josh went on to say that some of the clips that were edited together during the fight weren't even from the same day. They must have really played this up because if they were shot on different days, they would have had to wear the same clothes from the first day. Do they have lines? Acting? And get this, apparently the episode initially was supposed to be about Dave Portnoy breaking up Sway, and then it was switched and made it all about Michael breaking him up. Josh continued telling Dave, quote, they would do these airings and we would all sit down and watch the episodes before they came out. And there was this whole episode where it was me and you were Satan. Like we were the worst people on the earth. We were the reason Sway broke up. Josh explained that the episode was cut together with clips from the BFFs podcast and other clips on the internet to make it look like Josh and Dave were the reason Sway broke up. If Josh knows this, maybe that's what caused the rip between Bryce and Josh? When Facebook, who releases Sway Life episodes every week, saw the episode and said they couldn't air it due to not safe for work content, the producers changed the entire narrative of the episode and refilmed everything. Sounds like a ton of work to me. Josh also shared that he didn't want to do the show from the beginning, but was told that if he and Griffin did not sign on, then the show would be canceled entirely. Talk about pressure. Speaking of Josh and his decisions, he unfollowed his ex-girlfriend, Nessa Barrett, and her new alleged boyfriend, Jaden Hostler. I mean, I totally get why he would unfollow them. Seeing someone who you used to date and were madly in love with now dating your best friend, or maybe ex-best friend, has to be so hard. Maybe he'll eventually tell us soon everything that he wants to say, because remember when Josh said that he has a lot to say, but he's holding back? I'm waiting. 
But now we want to know what you think. Do you think Josh made the right decision by leaving the Sway House and Sway Life? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. And make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. And guys, make sure to follow the Daily Report podcast on Spotify. The link is right there down in the description box below. I'm Kelsey McDonald. And can you believe this? I mean, I sort of can, but also like the fact that Josh is bringing this all to light is crazy.